this is Eric Vega with Go Engineer Tech Support. In this video, we'll go through three new features on the What's New Simulation 2020 release. The first topic we'll touch is thermal beams. In previous releases, SolarWorks Simulation did not support thermal boundary conditions in beam elements. As of 2020, this is a fully supported feature. In a thermal study, you can now assign any body in your study to be recognized as a beam. Even under thermal loads, you'll be able to assign temperature, convection, heat flux, and even radiation to either joints or beam elements themselves. Just like in other thermal studies, you can also create a static study and import the results from the thermal study. If you input a temperature under external loads, you can now select joints or beams to assign temperatures, just like any other element type. This gives you even more flexibility in being able to represent your study more accurately in the simulation environment. The next feature we'll be talking about is mixed mesh quality. In prior releases, mesh quality was a property defined on a global level. Now in 2020, you'll be able to set up a study where under the parts node, we have a new symbol next to the mesh type. This indicates the draft or high quality mesh type. To change the mesh quality, you can just right click the individual component and choose the option to toggle the mesh type you'll see the icon changing accordingly. You can also go down to the Mesh node and under Create Mesh, you'll find a new tab called Mesh Quality. Here, we can also individually select which components we want to bring up onto high or draft quality meshes. Once finished, the mesher will color code the mesh bodies depending on the mesh quality utilized. Orange means draft quality and blue means high quality. This new feature allows you to concentrate your computer resources in the areas that are of utmost importance for your study. You no longer have to sacrifice computing times for more accurate results. The next and last feature are distributed connectors. Similar to the 2019 feature distributed remote loads, 2020 now allows you to have distributed loads for connectors. This will give you more conservative stresses when you use bolt connectors. When we open a study and set up a bolt, we now have the connection type option right below the bolt definition. Let's run this study with rigid connections and see the result. With the study now finished, we can see the stress concentrations around the faces where the bolt would interact with the part. The rigid bolt connector assumes the bolt does not deform in the face that makes contact with the part. Let's run it as a distributed connection and compare the results. With the distributed bolt connector study finished, I compared both studies and changed the range so they match. We can see on the top, uh, we have the rigid bolt connector. We can also see a ring of stress where the contact area between the bolt and the part exists. The lack of stresses on the inner edge are due to the rigidity of the bolt. If we look below in the distributed bolt connector, we can see that the stress was actually distributed throughout the entire contact area. This new bolt connector type shows the stresses that we would have otherwise missed with the rigid connector approximation. This has been Eric Vega with GoEngineer. Thanks for watching the What's New Simulation 2020 video.